Alright guys and welcome to another video. Today we're very quickly covering some big news about Wintergrasp in Raffa Lich King Classic. Blizzard have released an entire article about it, telling us how it's going to go down. If you don't want to miss news updates like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel guys and you'll also access all of my sub-only content like the best 25 quests to get before Raff launches. So guys, the first big change when it comes to Wintergrasp is it's no longer going to be in the world. Now what do I mean by that? It is actually going to be an instant battleground similar to Alteric Valley. Blizzard are basically saying because the server populations are so imbalanced and that they're so big on Classic WoW on all the servers, that Wintergrasp is no longer feasible. So it's basically them saying, well, we've caused all these issues with our servers, we haven't come up with a solution to fix them and we don't want to put the work in to fix our servers. As a consequence of that, Wintergrasp has to be an instance battleground and it can't be a server event anymore. What we're essentially saying is they wouldn't be able to make Wintergrasp work in a balanced and fun way because there's too many people on the server. And since there's so many people on the servers now, it would mean that, well, if people queued for Wintergrasp, then a lot of people wouldn't even be able to get into Wintergrasp and be able to experience that content because there's only a limited amount of spots for Wintergrasp. And this means they're doing it as an instance battleground, so it won't be on your server. So then how do people get access to VOA? Well, if somebody on your server goes into Wintergrasp, anyone on your server, by the way, wins a Wintergrasp battleground, then the entire server is granted a buff called the Essence of Wintergrasp, and that buff will obviously allow you to enter VOA and collect Soul Keeper shards from heroic dungeon bosses. So this probably means that we're just going to have constant access to VOA and constant access to Stone Keeper shards. So basically, because certain servers are so imbalanced, and then certain servers like Firemore, for instance, are so big that yeah, Wintergrasp can no longer be a thing. Whereas what we could have done is actually just fix the servers. They could have split Firemore into two, probably even three servers. They can merge servers to fix faction imbalance issues, but we're not going to do any of that. They're just kind of giving us a different version of Wintergrass. Now, I don't want to be like so negative about this because, you know, to be fair, it might even turn out being a better system because obviously it's kind of irritating where your faction never gets access to Wintergrass because they're all crap at PvP. And what they have said here is, we took some note of the unique and iconic features of original Battle for Wintergrass, decided to take this opportunity to draw inspiration from some of the, those features and create something unique in terms of how Battlegrounds typically operate. So, that is hinting at changes. Changes to Wintergrass to make it more of, well, to be honest, I mean, who knows, what, what are they going to turn it into? I presume that probably means they're going to get rid of all the quests so you can get in Wintergrass because obviously it's no longer going to be an open world zone. I imagine they'll change the ranking system as well because what was kind of weird is you would have to go around killing other players or killing turrets in order to rank up and then you gain access to vehicles. Who knows what we're going to do? I think we can probably expect a lot of changes from Wintergrasp. It is still going to be every three hours. This isn't going to be a battleground that you can queue up for whenever you want. It's still only accessible every three hours. You can queue up for it by either entering the Wintergrasp zone or going into Dalaran and queuing up from the NPC. They've also said how the minimum required players in order to make a Wintergrasp battleground happen is changing because obviously back in the day you could have like two or three people on the well, on one side and then 50 people on the other side which was a bit daft and they're also going to be bringing back the tenacity buff which buffs the faction that has less players with more damage and more health and this is their way of balancing the battleground if one side of the battleground has more players than the other it definitely means that it's going to be easier to get into Wintergrass. It's not really one of those first come, first serve situations. You will probably, very likely, be able to get into a Wintergrass battleground every three hours, no matter what. So, for those people who just enjoy Wintergrass for what it is, it's great for those people like me because, yeah, I really do love Wintergrass and I love farming the, uh, the Wintergrass tokens and getting the mounts and everything like that. They have also said that Wintergrass will remain as a PvP zone. They haven't specified whether that is still on PvE servers, but I imagine it probably is going to be. And they also haven't really explained how 
Well, if one faction has the essence of Wintergrass buff and another faction has it too, does that mean both factions are going to have access to VOA? And therefore, getting to VOA is going to be a ganking, free-for-all skirmish of insanity. And it still doesn't really make sense because they're saying that there's going to be faction NPCs present, but how's there going to be faction NPCs present in Wintergrasp if both factions have access, have this essence of Wintergrasp buff? Hopefully we will be able to see how that is going to go down in the future because we have said that it is going to appear on the beta within the next few weeks. I think my overall thoughts on this is this is probably the best that they can do with a crappy situation. So we just kind of have to look onto that positive note really because without them making changes it probably would have been worse. But anyway guys, my name is Goblin. to the next video, ciao.